Au, au! Auf! Auf! Der Hände hoch! Die Hände hoch! Die Hände hoch! Abnehmen! Abnehmen! Umdrehen, umdrehen. Kader, gut. Out here. We gotta get out of here. Come on, Lieutenant. Jason. And Vic Morrow. Take it easy, sir. Sir? Bacon, Gerald. Three, two, three, four. What type O? Corporal Gerald Bacon. I guess I owe you an explanation. Yeah, I guess you do. Thanks. Well, first, I guess, I better explain how I got into this uniform. It would help. Well, <clears throat> do you know Colonel Johnson at Division? Not personally, no. I'm his driver. We were on our way to a big meeting of the brass at Melange. The crowds hit us. He's dead? No, sir. At least he was still alive when I left him. The colonel and I were captured. I got away. Where's the colonel now? About a house, uh, about three miles from here. He's deserted. The SS have been interrogating us since yesterday. Did they work you over? Nothing like what they're doing to the colonel. 
guess they know he knows more than I do. When did you get away? Just a little while ago. The colonel passed out. They only left one kraut in the room to keep an eye on us. I managed to get the drop on him and finished him with his own knife. Then I switched uniforms with him and put him in my bunk. And then I slipped out past the sentries. Why didn't you take the colonel with you? He got shot in the leg when we were captured. I couldn't move him by myself. Sir, you've got to help. We've got to get him out of there. Look at me. I'm shaking like a wet dog. All right. Settle down. Give me a chance to think this thing out. Sir, if the colonel comes to, they're going to start beating the life out of him again. Oh, God help me for saying it, but I'm afraid he's going to spill the whole thing. He's got that much to tell? I told you. We were on our way to a meeting at the Braz. I don't know the details, but I know it's top-level stuff. The colonel's operations officer, he's right in the middle of it. He probably discovered that the body in the bunk isn't yours by now. Maybe not. They wouldn't go back in the house unless they heard the colonel. Do you think I did the right thing, sir? Yeah, you, you did just fine. <sighs> Lieutenant, I'm just a driver. I've never been in action before. You gonna be all right? Oh. Yes, sir, I'm fine. <sighs> all right, let's go see what we can do for you, Colonel. Zum Hauptquartier? Ja. Wir fahren dort nicht hier. Hey, Kumpel, bist du von Hauptquartier? Kennst du meinen Bruder, Erich Obrecht? Nein. Sieh euch später. Vorwärts. Said he had a brother in the SS. Wanted to know if I knew him. Water. Hold in, Wagen. Wo haben Sie? Wo nehmen Sie mit? Ein Mann, ein Amerikanischer gefangen hat. Was willst du laufen? <laughs> They're gonna give us a lift. They say a man who captures an American prisoner shouldn't have to walk. Meine Bruder nicht. Erich Obrecht. Leutnant Obrecht. Hier ist er. Vielleicht du hast du irgendwo gesehen? Jetzt erkennst du ihn. Der Führer hat das Ritterkreuz gegeben. Ja, 
goed er altijd hier. Nach seiner Auszeichnung, er war Ausbilder dort. Obrich, helft uns! Ja, ja. His brother was an instructor in the base where I'm supposed to train. It's been pretty deep. Got any ideas, Lieutenant? Let's take a walk. Nein, danke. Was ist der Weg, was ist Wiedersehen. Ist etwas komisch mit den beiden. Was meinst du? Er trägt ein SS-Uniform. Aber er weiß nicht viel davon. Soldat, einen Moment. Komm so. Moment. Was ist come back. Let's get out of here. Bitte, Hans, bin ich! Wir sind hier, schnell! It's a rear door, but it's all blocked off with timbers. How many sentries? There are four. Two on, two off. They take turns sleeping in that tent. And nobody's interrogating the colonel now. I guess not. Well, it's a cinch they, they discovered that crowd you'd up in your bunk. Well, maybe not. Maybe haven't been in there since I left. Sir, those two 
sentries are in the tent with the lieutenant. I think they're asleep. We've been here two hours. The lieutenant hasn't gone near the house once. Maybe the colonel's dead. No. If he was dead, they still wouldn't be here. Now, we could probably get out the back door. But the only way we can get in is through the front door, right? You have an idea? Half an idea. When the sentry moves off to the right, near the tent, we'll try and slip in the front door. And once we're inside, we'll have to play it by ear. Whenever you're ready, sir. last few hours, I may believe I was out cold.
Franz, komm mal her! Was ist los mit dem? Der ist wieder ohnmächtig geworden. Meinst du, dass wir Leute fragen sollen? Nein, das ist nur Delirium. What did they say? They were going to call the lieutenant, but they decided the Colonel's just delirious. Komm, wir bringen ihn rein. Walter, zurück zu den Lebenden. Es hat geklappt. Hier, du hast verdient. Danke, ich brauche sie. Sir, and I'm not sure exactly what direction to take. If you tell me where you want to go, maybe I could help you. Back to battalion. Our introduction was rather hasty, Lieutenant. Which battalion? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, the third. I've been out of it for two days. Is, is their position the same? 
Yes, sir, just north of Clary. Oh, well, then, then we're closer to the first battalion. Well, I don't know exactly where we are, sir, but I know we're nowhere near the first. Well, I'm doing a lot for the war effort. Staff is meeting at Melange. I'm sitting here with my leg half off. I don't know what's going on. Well, the first has shifted to a new position in the woods. You wouldn't be expected to know that. Why should they do that? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Maybe they wanted to narrow down the front. With no reserve unit? No, the second's in reserve at Marne. Oh, yeah, sure, that's right. Yeah, well, that does make sense. Rocket launcher? Oh, yes, sir. We just got our first ones last week. Yeah, I, I think I saw one, too. I don't understand. Well, uh, we were being brought in after we were captured, and we passed some uh, crowd gun emplacements, and uh, I think they were using the new launcher. Well, they must have captured them right after we started using them in this sector. Yeah, that's what I figured, too. If it was the launcher. You're not sure? Well, I, I'd never seen one fired before. What exactly do they look like? Well, they're... Looked like a stovepipe about five and a half feet long. When the fired flame comes out of both ends. Yeah, yeah, that's it, all right. I wonder if the crowds can adapt their armament to fit it. I hope not. I'd hate to be on the receiving end of one of those things. Pretty effective, huh? Plenty effective. I guess I'll be sending up more of them. Maybe. Sir! sir they're still following us, sir. How many? Oh, I can't tell. What direction are they moving? I'm over there. We better get going the other direction, back to the road. Long way home. Yeah, we have no choice. Come on. Backseat, they're still following us. Right. Lieutenant, I, I'm going to try to continue on to that, that meeting at Melange. Well, that's impossible. You can't make it, and I've got to get back to my unit. I understand your position, Lieutenant. I'm not, I'm not ordering you to come with me. Well, you can't make it without me. 
I can try. Is that your final decision, sir? Yes, yes, it is. See, I think maybe I can do some good. After all, what I've seen of the crowd activity in the last couple of days, I think I have a pretty good idea of what's going on in the sector. I, I think maybe I can uh, come up with some answers and tie up a few loose ends. But you've been out of it more than 48 hours. Maybe the plan has been changed. I'll make the plans fit the situation. If you get to Malash. Lieutenant, this sector has been ready to explode for the last three days. Besides what, what you've told me, I also have access to some privileged information. And I, I think it's worth a risk. You uh, still got the lieutenant's field map? Yes, sir. Let's have it. <clears throat> now, let me, let me get this straight, lieutenant. As you've explained it to me, these are our battalion positions, right? Yes, sir. Now, how much tank support does your battalion have? I'm not sure, sir. I'll make an estimate. Battalion usually carries a company of tanks. Tank destroyers? Well, everybody knows that we haven't used any tank destroyers for over two weeks. Oh, that's, that's right. I guess I'm not functioning 100% yet. Uh, are we uh, still using the same supply route? I would assume so. And they were right about... Let's see. I can't see too well in this... In this dark. There must have been... Oh, help me, Lieutenant, huh? Here, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, what else, Lieutenant? Sir? What else can you tell me? Well, that, that's about it, sir. Well, think hard. What you tell me here, now, may prove invaluable when I get to that meeting in Melange. Well, sir, I... I guess that's about all. Ich glaube, wir brauchen den Leutnant nicht mehr. position of your battalions and your armament. I didn't give you anything. Yes, you have. If not directly. And by either agreeing or disagreeing with what I said, you not only know your strength, we also know the road that you use to bring up your supplies and replacements. Yes, you've been very helpful. I haven't given you a thing. I was on to you the moment you started asking me questions. Of course, all the information you gave me was false, huh? That's right. You think I'm a fool. If the information were false, you would never have said a word. Let me go on believing it. Unless I was going to be taking you prisoner. I don't relish being blown up with you and your men. You're bluffing, Lieutenant. You're willing to risk a few thousand German lives? Yours included to find out? Take a tip, Colonel. From what I've seen of your strength in this sector, you'd be a hero if you get your men to pull out now. Glauben Sie, er hatte uns durchschaut? Ich gehe zum Hauptquartier. Sie sagen den Leutnant, Sie bringen ihn ins Gefangenenlager. Lassen Sie ihn kommen. Falls er mir folgt, wissen wir, seine Information richtig war. Gut. Derry will take you back to a prisoner of war collection point. I must hurry back to my headquarters to report to them the details of your indiscretion. I'm telling you, I lied. Of course. You're gonna let him go? You're gonna look pretty stupid when it blows up in your faces. Lieutenant, I had to kill one of my own men when we first met, you remember? You had to be convinced. Do you think I'd throw that all away by believing you now? Suit yourself. <laughs> You're just trying to cover up your own mistake. 
You sure of that? I will be very soon. Now march. That way. That's genuine. The Colonel Johnson and Corporal Gerald Bacon were in that jeep we saw. Before they died, we learned that they were on their way to a meeting at Milan. where we got the idea. Truck ride, was that planned too? No, it wasn't part of the plan. But pretending not to know anything about my own unit, I made that private very suspicious. Oh.
Okay, sir, get in. What were you doing out there alone, Lieutenant? Got separated from my men. What outfit you with? Same as yours, 361st. Who's your commanding officer? I just told you, sir, same as yours. I said, who's your commanding officer? Colonel Dale. What's he look like? Huh? What's he look like? Well, he's tall, dark hair, skinny face. Who's his exec? Major Barnes. What's he look like? Kind of fat, chubby cheeks. Who wrote Stardust? Hoagie okay, Carmichael. Say, what is this, 20 questions? All right, forget it. Let's go home. You sure are cautious, Lieutenant. Do I look like a crowd? It could happen, Corporal. It could happen. Mm -hmm. 